thought the first half was a was a good effort. I thought the ball was moving. I thought we controlled the game. Uh, we get into some very good spots. We don't connect on the final pass as much as we need to, given that we're in pretty good areas. And, you know, we need to turn more of those possessions. I thought the group was pretty committed to the attack. It wasn't possession just for the sake of possession. I thought it was one of our best nights of trying to break lines and then take the ball into the attack and, and back them up and, and put them in their box. I mean, I would imagine uh, in terms of balls they had to recover in their box, it was quite a few tonight. So, but we, we just didn't, the timing, the execution of, of the, the actions in the box, um, yep, it, it didn't happen for us as, as frequently as it would have liked. And when it did, we weren't able to put the ball in the back of the net or even really make the keeper make any really difficult big saves or anything like that. We had some good looks. Uh, <clears throat> in the first half, you know, most of their chances were in, in transition. I still thought that in the first half, a little too easy for them to play in between us and, and also kind of get into our half of the field. They didn't really hurt us a lot on that, but it did. It did. Uh, I thought it was a little too easy, something that has to be better. In the second half, you know, it, it becomes a game of, of moments. You know, they uh, they get theirs in transition and, and uh, get their chance and they put it in the goal and it changes the emotion of the game. It changes the... the um, yeah, it changes the yeah the emotion is a big part of it because now they have the goal lead. They're they're uh, they're pushing a little bit more. They also can stay compact, but then they're step out pressing a little bit faster, right? And our guys are are trying to uh, trying to connect again and break them down and a little bit more like urgency and almost I don't know if panic is the right word, but there's definitely a little bit more urgency where I felt like we weren't as as tight sometimes to to getting in the box and getting to that final action i thought we rushed some things a few times and then i thought we we didn't handle some situations great but i thought the effort was fantastic i thought our performance for much of the game was solid we had 10 or 11 12 something corner kicks we still didn't get a great chance off of corner kicks that's something that has to we've got to be able to get a an edge somewhere on one of these set pieces when we have so many of them um we didn't uh so at the end of the day, the game comes down to the two boxes. Uh, you know, they they got a couple chances in the box. They buried they buried two of maybe three, four chances, maybe tops that they had. And we had a lot of moments in the boxes, and we don't bury any of them. It's a game we have to score. I mean, we have to score one goal, but it would be really helpful on the emotional side if we could score the first goal. I think that would really help this group right now just because – they put in a great shift and played very well in the first half. And if we can tip that first domino over and get that goal and get on the front side of the game, I think would be uh, a good relief for this group, you know, just as they, as they keep pushing and keep fighting. And I uh, know this is no easy answer here, but how do you get things unlocked there? Um, like, like you say, uh, uh, the first half, Victor Vasquez was putting the ball deep in, into the box. Yeah, Chicharito had a, had a shot and yeah. I think Sebastian had one as well. Um, it's it's just you know, just constant you know guys just uh just get getting into those spots and at, at least at some point you expect one of them to go in there. Yeah, you, you have to keep working, keep doing. I mean, again, if, what was it? One minute, two minutes in the game, we get Javi in behind the the back line with a chance. Like you mentioned, a couple of those chances. You gotta we gotta keep doing the things that are creating the chances for us. And at some point the timing is gonna get right, the finish is gonna get right. We can we can tip that 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 bar in our favor. You gotta keep working for it. Uh you know, obviously <clears throat> it's a um you know, they put in the work today and we got into good spots, but we, we just got to keep working for it. It's not like we have training time and we can do a lot of finishing or do anything like that. We, we're bouncing from game to game pretty quickly. We need the, you know, when these games come fast, you you, you got to sort some of this things, some of these things out on the fly a, a bit. And um, when it comes to finishing, some of this is just it's just timing. It's composure in front of the goal. It's taking it's taking your moment when we get it. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next, we'll go to Josh Gessman. Hey, Greg, thanks for, for taking the time. Um, what are the alarm bells ringing for, for you or for, for the team? I know eight games left, uh, no wins now in, in seven games and just two points really separate you guys from being in the playoffs to, to being out of the playoffs. Is, is there some, 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 some alarm bells going off? Yeah, I mean, I think there's for sure, everybody feels urgency and everybody's disappointed. Again, there's, there's, uh, you know, a sense in the locker room that the guys put out a good shift and it's about execution now. It's a, again, as I said, it's about put the ball in the back of the net when we get the opportunities and, uh, and execute around our goal, you know, and 
like I said, we, we need to, it would, it can, would be helpful for this group to get a, a goal, to get ahead and, and not feel like they have to chase a game, but to have the emotion of where we can protect the goal for, for once instead of getting behind. So are there alarm bells? For sure. Everybody feels some urgency to, to obviously shift the momentum to get that, that result that we need to, to keep going. Um, but as I said to them, we keep fighting. We're, we're, we're in a position right now where we control our own destiny. We need to, you know, keep our heads up and keep fighting every, every game and, uh, and keep pushing for, um, the next opportunity. You know, it just takes one win in this and, and one result, uh, to get us the momentum shifted the other way, which may even just mean one goal, get one goal, one first goal. And we may be able to, to shift the tide of this thing because it's not, you know, tonight wasn't about. I thought about whether we played good or bad. It was about whether we executed or didn't in, in key moments of the game. Is that execution the difference when you look at, let's say, the first 10 or 12 games of this season versus what we're seeing now here at the, at the back end? Yeah, it's a, it's a big part of the difference. You know, um, it, it's Javi was, was on fire at the beginning of the year. We got in good spots and he scored a lot of the goals and we supplemented him. Uh, he goes out for a long period of time. As I said, when, when he was coming back, it's not like he's going to catch fire immediately again. And he's got to get his timing. He's got to get a rhythm. We've got to get the timing right as we get everybody back in. And I feel like that's just a little bit off and, and, and then the supplemental goals aren't, aren't falling for us either. So, um, those are the two pieces. And, and some of that is, that's why I say, we got to keep working. We got to keep doing what we did tonight. If we get 14, 15 chances a game, we're going to put the ball in the back of the net. If we get some of these same chances that we had tonight, we'll put the ball in the back of the net. If we can be a little better on a few more instances of the timing and the final pass, we're going to get more chances out of the game. So again, not, it was for me, not about the overall performance, it was about the execution in, in those key areas of the field, which is the boxes. Yeah. I mean, if we can throw the result out, um, kind of what you're saying, and I just want to make sure I'm getting it right. If we can throw the result out, do you feel like this was a, a little step in the right direction then? I thought it was a better performance than the, than the, than the last few. I thought it was intentional. Again, we didn't have, we weren't just playing possession for the sake of possession. We were playing possession to go create chances, to hurt them, to play behind them, to, to get goal scoring chances. I thought, you know, the, the, the amount of chances we had plus the corner kicks is evidence of the fact that we were playing for the goal. We, you know, I thought in other games, we weren't really getting many chances. We were, we were possessing in halves, but not really for the, with the intention of hurting the opposition and punishing the opposition position I thought we were better from that standpoint um, so so in that way yes is, was it a perfect uh, night no for sure and I thought um, obviously in some of the final actions on the attacking side and some of the things on the defending side I still think we can we need to improve upon in terms of recovering balls in better areas of the field there's it's a lot of details that or there's details that doesn't make sense for me to go through here but there's things that I think on, on the defending side could really help ourselves uh, to recover balls in better areas where we have chances, more chances in transition. We're not getting too many chances in the defending to attacking transition, which means we're having to break down teams a lot, which is not the easiest thing to do in soccer. Perfect. Thanks, Greg. And last question, we'll go to Andy Diasa. Hey, Greg. I know you've talked about this season, a lot about it just being kind of a growing process with having so many new players. I'm just wondering... Um, if there is a next step or what is that next step that you guys kind of want to crack down? I know you've mentioned a little bit about defensively just being, uh, you know, more sharp and then obviously offensively trying to score first goals. But is there a next step maybe in terms of adversity going through the, the push for the players that you're kind of trying to unlock as these last eight games go on? Yeah, for sure. This is a, it's a relatively fresh group going through their first moment of the season as a group where pressure is on, you know, where it's not easy anymore, where you, you know, you just could get to go out and the standings are, we're in a comfortable position or where, uh, you know, where people don't watch the table so closely in the first 15, 20 games, you know, you know, there's time out there, but now it's, it's the pressure is on the team. And this is where we find out a little bit about leadership. You find out a little bit about resiliency and grit. And uh, you find out a little bit about how people deal with, it, with uh, adversity. Cause you, you have to go through those moments. If you want to become a championship team, nobody goes through, through without the growing pains to get, become a championship team. Uh, so you have to you have to deal deal with that. So right now this group is uh, feeling that, and all of us, and, and we're gonna we're gonna grow together as a group through managing through this uh, this adversity and this challenge, and um, you know work our way on the other side. 
you guys haven't had a win now in, in seven games. Um, are alarm bells starting to ring for you guys? Does it feel more urgent knowing that the playoffs are hopefully for you guys right around the corner? Yes, of course. We know that every game right now is, is like a final. Uh, as you say, uh, we had to, to win this game. I think the, the team play better, but in these kind of games, uh, every small little detail can change the game. So we didn't score our goals that we had in the first time, uh, second, second half, neither. And, and they had three, three opportunities in the score. So I think we have to change that is that mentality. We have to be, we have to put, pay, 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 pay more attention. And, and I'm worried, of course, uh, because uh, we have, I think, eight more games. Uh, and we know that we are, we're still in playoff, but we know the all the teams are very close to us. So uh, we know that in this game, we have to, we have to win. We have to, we have to take these three points and, and yes, uh, I'm, we need to still working. Uh, this is not, this is not the end of the, of the world. We know that uh, we are part of the, one of the, one of the best team in the league. And I think the, the fans, the club, of course, deserve more, but I want to tell you that we are working hard. We don't like to be in this situation is hard of course it's hard because uh, nobody likes to be in this kind of, of, of situations um, but hopefully we can get out uh, and on next Wednesday you know, and we can we can get that win that, that we needed I, I think it's just one win and everything will change and, and how do you get that when Jonah whenever uh, you know Greg was talking about execution right you guys are getting yes. to the part where you're supposed to be finishing and the finishing is not there how do you get to that that next step still still working on it practicing every day every training we have to uh, put more effort uh, and as Greg said we were talking after the game uh, in the locker room and yes we have to score the goals that we had because right now every team is playing and to get in, into the playoffs and, and yes, every game is like a final, as, as I said. So, so yes, we need, we have to, we have to be more efficient, 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 yes, in, in, in offensive and, and de defensive. So, uh, yes, as I say, it's difficult. I don't like to be in this situation uh, for me, it's been hard. I've been in this situation many times, uh, but I, I know that this, I'm not worried about this year, you know, because I know that we have a really good team. We have uh, uh, the team's very tight. Uh, we are like a family, so I'm not worried about it. I know that we are going to get out of this situation, and and yes, as I say, hopefully next 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 Wednesday we can get a win when everything as I say will change. Thanks, John. Uh, um, Greg, habló sobre la importancia de anotar el primer gol en los partidos, ¿no? Es algo que, que el Galaxy no, no ha hecho en los últimos partidos, ¿no? Marcar el primer gol, ¿no? Abrir el, el marcador. Sí. Que, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál es la importancia, ¿no? En, en su opinión de, de hacer el primer gol de partido. Parece que eso es, es la clave para el equipo. Sí, hoy, hoy en día es muy importante. Como, como he dicho, no estamos jugando cada partido es una final, es cada partido es, es, es son partidos de playoffs y cualquier detalle, cualquier error eh, puedes perder el partido, así que eh, como he dicho, ¿no? hemos tenido ocasiones en la primera parte, el primer minuto, el segundo, el minuto dos, tuvimos una ocasión para meter, después tuvimos otras dos o tres, después en la segunda parte otras más, eh, ellos llegaron tres veces a la portería, tuvieron pocas ocasiones, casi no tuvieron el balón, nosotros tuvimos la mayor parte del control del partido, yo creo que el equipo hizo un buen trabajo en ese sentido, pero hay que, hay que ser eficientes, al final el fútbol, eh, el, el, eh, hoy en día el equipo que es más eficiente eh, gana los partidos y más eh, a final de temporada. And last question, we'll go to Katia Castorena from ESPN Deportes. Es Kevin. Hola, Jonah, gusto saludarte. Hola, Katy, ¿cómo estás? 
Bien, gracias. Un poquito más sobre lo que mencionabas. ¿Qué ha pasado en el grupo? Que si bien son un grupo muy fuerte, pero que en estos últimos partidos han caído en este bache y que tanto aumenta la presión. Y, y mencionabas el, el tema de la contundencia. Digo, sé que son varios detalles, pero ¿qué tanto ha afectado? El, el, varios jugadores son nuevos. De, de Jan llegó ya, ya a mitad de temporada. La lesión de, de Chicharito, que, que recién está recuperando el ritmo y, y en estos detalles. Sí, no, a ver, es difícil, como en todas las rachas negativas, eh, tanto en la vida normal eh, eh, como en el soccer, es, es difícil salir de, de ello, pero lo que hemos hablado, es solo un partido que, que se gane y todo va a cambiar, eh, y no, yo, como te digo, no estoy preocupado, obviamente estoy muy dolido por la situación que estamos, a mí le gusta estar en una situación como, como esta, eh, pero bueno, el equipo está trabajando, está trabajando bastante bien, estoy contento por, por ese sentido, Estamos a muerte con el entrenador, que también es lo más importante. Hacemos lo que nos piden en el campo. Yo creo que eh, se, se, se está viendo y, y el equipo, aunque no, no haya ganado hoy, se hicieron las cosas eh, bien. Eh, pero como te digo, al final, eh, hoy, de hoy en día el fútbol no es el que más juega bonito, sino el que es el, es el más eficiente. Así que no metimos las que tuvimos que meter. Atrás no fuimos contundentes, no, sumo, no, no, no fuimos fuertes en ese sentido. Y bueno, eh, tenemos que mejorar esos pequeños detalles porque al final... Eh, nos va a dar el hecho de, de, bueno, de, de amarrar lo antes posible los playoffs y, y, y todos estamos ahí, o sea, no estamos en una mala posición, pero sabemos que todos los equipos están, están atrás de nosotros, así que depende de nosotros eh, y como te digo, estoy, estoy tranquilo porque somos un equipo muy unido, eh, como te digo, hoy el, obviamente después del partido estábamos todos dolidos, eh, porque obviamente nos importa este club, eh, nos importa también muchísimo los fans, eh, sabemos que se merecen muchísimo más, eh, y nada, como capitán aquí hay que dar la cara, eh, hay que seguir trabajando, eh, quedan ocho finales o nueve finales, y bueno, hay que, hay que, hay que, hay que seguir adelante y, y llegar a, a los playoffs eh, con la mejor eh, dinámica y, y confianza que, que podamos, ¿no? Mm -hmm.